Hey guys, it's Adam and welcome to Behind the Box. All right, I don't have Matt here this week with me, but um, we it has just been absolutely, absolutely crazy and trying to coordinate everyone's schedules and everything. I wanted to get this out to you. So let me tell you some of the things that have been happening. Uh, as, as many of you know, we moved. And moving a warehouse is not a small feat. We're in, I'm, I'm in a new filming area. There's still boxes everywhere and stuff that hasn't been unpacked. And every 30 seconds, someone's asking where something's at and we have to go and pack a bunch of boxes. But we're here, so that has been happening. But I also wanna talk about something else. Okay, there are really positive changes coming and I'm, and I'm starting the video right off the bat with that because I want to talk a little bit about it before I get into the watching box because this box was absolutely incredible and really really exciting there's some really fun stories behind it one of the things that I have been teasing and talking about for a while was that there were some changes kind of on the horizon if you if, you, if you're listening to me uh, and you're seeing some of the videos you've, you've, you've heard me talk about uh, web changes, social changes, some uh, box changes, all kinds of stuff that, that was coming. You've heard me probably throw little snippets out here and there. We are coming up on one year. One year. And it's, it's crazy. It, it, it's blowing our minds here. I cannot believe um, legitimately, legitimately from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Not just the kind of thank you that's like, hey, thanks, but the kind of thank you that this dream that we had about Bandbox and what it can become is possible because of you. And because of you supporting what we're doing, there has been a lot of iterations, a lot of changes, a lot of things, which is just, it's just absolutely what's going to happen in the evolution of a company, right? As, as we grow, we learn more, it, it, it presents new challenges, it also presents new possibilities. And so that has what has been what has been happening. So we're gonna be doing a lot of changes that, like I said, we wanted to wait a month for and try to have them hit December, right, right around when the new box uh, switches over, but it's going to be happening in November. And I'm going to start leaking some different things that are happening. Obviously, adult cartoons is the next theme, which you guys, I, you, you, you are going to start seeing spoilers. People have been asking, where are the spoilers at? What's happening? Where are you at? We have been so consumed with moving and all these changes that are happening. I'm in meetings right now with a lot of different people, uh, from, from artists to celebrities and, and, and different agents uh, to different companies that we're really excited. We're planning out 2017 and 2017 is going to be an incredible year. And I cannot wait to begin to tell you guys some of the stuff that's gonna be happening. But it's coming, teasers are going to be happening, so I want you guys to watch out for that. And I wanted to just get that out of the way, because people keep saying, Adam, what's going on? We haven't seen any teasers from you, we haven't really heard from you, what's happening? And I, and I love that, I love that you actually are curious to what's going on because it, it, the, the, the social aspect of this, the back and forth piece, the, the ability to communicate back and forth, listening to you guys, it's such a critical part of this company and what we've built. And so it's very important that, that, um, that we are communicating with you. So know that we have not dropped off the face of the planet, we've just moved and we've been in a lot of meetings, a lot of things are happening and so look for those teasers. But with that said, and excitingly said, without further ado, this is October's watching box. So let's get into this. You guys, like I said, we, we don't have Matt just because of scheduling conflicts and a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, so you have to just look at me the entire time, listen to me. And I'm really bummed about that because Matt is like such an incredible horror fan that I, I was really hoping to be able to, to, to be able to coincide with that. And uh, But uh, I, I, I'll try to channel my inner Matt spirit while we do this. So opening up. The BAM box, you guys saw, and this was teased, pins this month from Butcho Vision. And I'm gonna have all the details below, uh, whether it's this, you're watching this on Facebook, whether you're watching this on YouTube, uh, make sure that all the details are there. You guys have got to go and see his stuff, and so many of you guys have been saying, hey, I had no idea who, who Butcho Vision was, and now I, I, I bought this pack, and I'm buying this patch, and I'm buying, and we love that. That is the point of this, the point of this for us is not to, I'm just stepping on a soapbox. By the way, I voted today, so I feel like today's a good day to probably step on my soapbox, right? Um, 
for, for all those uh, 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 American subscribers that got out and voted today, I'm going to jump up on this soapbox. It is at the core of what we do to not just bring you products and make a, a, a profit off of them. Obviously, that's the business part that we have to do. But the heart behind that is that we introduce you to artists that you may not have heard about, to products that you may not have heard about, to fandoms that you may not have, have heard about, or if you had heard about them, weren't really into them, uh, to comics that you may not have heard about, and now suddenly you, you're, you're into them. We're hearing a ton of that kind of feedback, and that's the kind of thing that we want to keep going. So, Butcho Vision did the pins this month, and I was so excited. I, I had been talking to him for a long time. He's an incredible, incredible guy, one of the most authentic, real people that you will meet, his heart behind what he does. Get on board with what he is doing because th this, this guy is just special. He's, he's very unique, very one of a kind, and I love that he's a trailblazer, and so um, you, you wanna see what he's doing. But this month, we had three different designs, and we the first one that we had, and I'll, I'll try to get some close-up images of all this, is Chucky. The second one that we had this month was Sam from Trick or Treat, and then the, the, uh, the third one with the variant this month was Billy from Saw, the puppet from Saw. And I love this because what we were able to do this month with the variant, if you, if you got the Billy one, as you, as you kind of remember from a lot of the feedback that we got from you guys several months ago, uh, what we're doing now is if you get the variant pin, then you get both of them. So you actually get the color version and whatever the variant is. And we went with the all red variant, which is just super badass. I, I, as soon as they came in, we were all like, ah, this is so exciting. So um, I, I thought that was really cool, the way that they did that with the mirrored background. If you take a look at it, if you do have one of these. And those are numbered, by the way, on the back, the red ones are. And so Butcho Vision did the pins this month and just knocked it out of the park. We love these pins. As soon as they came in, everyone was trying to, to grab some for their own collection because they're just, they're just that badass. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Butcho Vision. We, we love what you're doing and, and we're life, lifelong supporters of you. And I know that you're going to pop in and out of the box uh, uh, in the future, which is really exciting for us. So. Check them out, and this these are the pins for the watching box this month. All right, spoiler booklet, we're gonna set aside because I'm spoiling this as I'm talking about it. Let's open up the box, woo Okay, I'm gonna try to hide this from you. Like so I've been watching you guys' YouTube videos to try to get some, some pointers on how to do this. Um, all right, first thing that I pulled out is, hello, my name is Ash. Housewares. Shop smart, shop as smart. So this is Ash versus Evil Dead. This is his, a replica of his, of his ID badge. This has been really fun because we've got awesome pictures from you guys wearing this and just random places. We get a lot of these photos that come in and we internally love them. Uh, so what we're doing, and uh, again, I'm kind of teasing a little bit about what's coming, is, is your interaction from a, uh, an image standpoint of, of you guys taking pictures of stuff. Uh, that you're getting in the BAM box, uh, whether it's your autographs or different items. There's going to be some really cool ways that we're going to implement that into our everyday BAM box life. And it's going to be really cool, tightening some giveaways and some really fun stuff happening. So, Because we're seeing all these awesome pictures and I want you guys to be able to see them too. So this is the S-Smart Employee ID Badge in this month's watching box. Alright, second. I'm, here, here's what I'm going to do. I've watched so many different people uh, unbox this, and this right here is the Demonic Box Puzzle Cube. Uh, and every single time the box tears, so it's almost become like the like the bottle flip challenge here internally. Can we open this box without tearing it? I'm going to try. And it's live. Not live. It's on camera. All right. Fast forward thing. Yeah. All right. It's torn. Perfect. Okay. So that is just incredible packaging on behalf of the band box. All right. So there it is. And what have we got? So here we have got the Lament configuration. This is just a replica of the cube that was used in the movie Hellraiser. And if I twist this just right. We can call upon a horde of demons to come. I'm not going to twist it. it, it <laughs> there were people who were genuinely like they they, they were they were watching some of the through some of the different unboxing videos would start to to twist this thing around and you could tell they were like eh, I don't know if I want to do that. All right, next we are going to go to the Kiss comic. 
Remember that this month's theme was watching. Watching. Limping as you do, I am watching you. It is a line from a Kiss song called Watching You that was on the album Hotter Than Hell. And that is why we chose this. A lot of people were like, well, I thought it was a horror box. If you, if you watch what we did, the theme was watching, which fit perfectly with that lyric, obviously, with Kiss, and also Jason, Freddie, Mike Myers. It, it all fit together really well. And we were so excited. John Lucas is an incredible, incredible artist. And when we knew that we had the opportunity to do one of the variant covers for the launch of the, of the new KISS comic, we were in, absolutely in. And John, Lucas, you slayed it, man. This was awesome. This cover is incredible, 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 incredible. And we've had a lot of people, there's a lot of different covers that came out. So many people have been, that had never heard of the band box, but knew through Dynamite that we had done one of the exclusive covers. We're like, this cover's incredible. Of all the ones that we got, this is the one that we love. So John Lucas, well done. So some people would have got the, the color version. By the way, every one of these comics were signed by John Lucas. So not only did we give you an exclusive comic and a number one, with the, with the new release of KISS, but we also made sure that every one of them were signed by John himself. So some of people would get the color version. Obviously there was the black and white version, uh, the variant version that some people would have received as well. And we had 25 of these right here that were, that were signed. And they were signed by Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons of KISS. This was really exclusive. We actually had some, some uh, uh, just some communication back and forth with these guys because the signing took place so much longer before these even came out. We were hoping to be able to get them to sign the actual variant cover, but just the way that their schedule is working and, and what they're doing right now, it wasn't going to work out. But they did sign the, the number one that they did have out uh, from Dynamite. And we were able to slip 25 of these in, and I know that it was completely random, and I, I we see one person, I was over the top excited because when, when these things are getting packed, we don't have labels on these boxes. Labels are just getting slapped, slapped on. That, that's the random part of what we're doing. I was so excited that Johnny Tejas, who's one of the YouTube unboxers, that his, 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 his the thing I, one, of, one of the things that I love about him is how infectious his personality is. He loves this stuff, and I love that. I totally connect with him there. So uh, really cool that he, he got one. He got one, and I, and I haven't seen anyone else I think maybe there was one other post of somebody who got one uh, somewhere in the UK, uh, but we've only seen two out there. So the other ones are in there somewhere, we just don't know where. But this was also in there. Kiss number one, Bandbox exclusive by artist John Lucas, every single copy signed. All right, next. You guys, I, I was so excited about this. You know, we've been doing multiple artists and that will continue on because there's just so many boxes that one artist is difficult for them to be able to to sign that many prints and it helps us um, with being able to offer different artists to you guys so that there's tradability, there's, there's so, much, so many pieces and that's who we are, that's not going to change. That will always be us. That's just how our box is created. And so this month, what we decided to do, and I, and I, I talked to him back and forth, I've been waiting for him to be our horror artist. Uh, and, and you know that the, there was a little bit of, uh, and I'll say this about the shipping. Was there a delay in the shipping? There was a delay in when we wanted to get it out. There wasn't a delay within our actual shipping standards of, of it getting out. We were well within our, our time frame, but we just were hoping to be able to get it out sooner. Unfortunately, the hurricane came through uh, and, and he was affected and also the, the, the company that makes our pins was affected. And so that, that slowed down when we were trying to get them out early, but still within that shipping time frame. But with him, with John, I, I asked him, can you do Bandbox exclusives? I'd seen some of his work before, uh, obviously the things that I, or parts of it that I really, really love. And I said, this kind of style that you do, this medium, can you give me two prints? Uh, Freddy versus Jason, uh, Mike Myers versus Leatherface. Can you give me those two prints, you know, uh, uh, and and be able to sign all of them? And it was a huge undertaking for him, but he knocked it out of the park. And these are the two prints that were in this month's band box. Here's one of the things that I love about this, and, and I hope that everyone sees it. In each of the weapons used by either Freddy or Jason, Leatherface or Mike Myers, 
is a actual photograph from one of the people that was slayed or killed within the movie as a reflection. And that is what got me. I was like, that's brilliant. The, 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 the last face of sheer terror and horror about to get slashed and you are able to see it as they're walking up on the person. Yes! I wanted that in the box and he, he nailed it. Just absolutely nailed it. So you guys got one of these two prints and I am so excited. I, I've seen people uh, just doing all kinds of stuff, trades on the community, on Facebook, try, people trying to trade, going, I need to get both of these. People sending pictures of them framed. Just awesome, 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 awesome. That is what makes Bam Box, Bam Box, is that we're giving you guys stuff that you can frame, that you can keep, that you can collect, stuff that's gonna have long-term intrinsic value to you. And, and this right here, this John, these John Brandon pieces, uh, incredible, incredible, incredible. John, you did a kick-ass job. Thank you for doing the prints. The sole artist in this month's watching box, John Brandon. All right, guys, so the first one that I wanna talk about is my man Skeet Ulrich. This is incredible. So when, as soon as we, we started talking to Skeet about being in this month's box, what was really awesome is that we, we decided we've got to watch Scream again. I had not seen Scream, I, maybe when it first came out, I've seen it one other time since then, I, I, I don't even remember. But I forgot how crazy it was, I forgot who was in it. There was just so much awesome going on and obviously Skeet played Neb Campbell's boyfriend and he was one of the two Ghostface killers. And we were so excited for Skeet to be able to get in. He's starting to do the con circuit a little bit right now. So you may see him in some of your cities and some of the cons that are coming up. Uh, but we were able to do a private signing with him and bring these to you guys as one of the autographs in this month's band box. So not only did we do Skeet Ulrich with the Ghostface Killer, but we also did the iconic, the incredible Linda Blair, who played Reagan in The Exorcist. There were a couple photographs that we were, when we were going back and forth with her about which ones we were going to do, there were some that were like, I just don't think we could do these scenes in the box. And so these are the two that we ended up with, which are incredible and gross and amazing. Little known fact, if you do not know this, uh, one of the first times that I ever met Linda Blair was at a signing and there were people that were putting through uh, cans of split pea soup and I couldn't figure out why they were having her sign those. I'm a huge fan of getting people to sign really obscure things because I just feel like the collectability of it is really fun. And so I kept asking what it was. And in this scene right here, that's actually what that is. That the, the vomit is actually split pea soup and I was like, genius. Genius, genius, genius. So we have that scene and also we have the scene of her just rising up from the bed, which is super creepy, super crazy. I watched this movie at a buddy's house. I was probably 15 years old. He had a, a, I had a guest house in the, in, the, in the back of the house. We were gonna watch it together, hanging out, and his dad calls him in. He's like, no man, just go ahead and watch it by yourself. Hugest mistake in my life because I'm an incredibly big wimp when it comes to this stuff. So every time I see it, it definitely chills, a little bit of a shudder happens, um, but we were so excited to be able to put the iconic Linda Blair in photos, so you would have either got Linda Blair or you would have got Skeet Ulrich signed photos. All right, we have got one more item, the infamous Ghost Face Killer Mask signed by Skeet Ulrich. All right, I want to I talk about this a little bit first, because obviously this did not make it into the actual spoiler booklet itself. And there's a lot of people saying, hey, these, these kind of suddenly, uh, you know, showed up and some people got them, some people didn't get them. Let me just lay all of that to rest so I can tell you exactly what happened. And I, and I feel like education is a, is a large part of what it is that we do. Um, just to understand, you know, there, there were several people who actually messaged me um, on the community page and, and what they said to me was, I don't understand why you didn't give a Skeet Ulrich mask to every single person in the box. That's a great question. Uh, why didn't we do that? Signing masks and signing items, you gotta understand that we're, we're dealing with thousands and thousands of items, right? So when, when you're dealing with that many items with any kind of celebrity, when, when you're talking about something like this, for instance, this mask, uh, in order for this to be signed, uh, and, and we've dealt with this so much in the past, there's uneven surfaces. And what that does is that slows down the ability to sign things dramatically. So often when we are dealing with uh, one of the celebrities, uh, sometimes we can get items in. A lot of times contractually, when, they, when we talk to them, they say, I, we will, we love to do this. We will only sign photos. 
because there's so many that they're doing, they know that they can't sit and sign uh, a lot of the items that sometimes we love to have them sign and get in. Now, obviously, uh, a lot of people said, you know, you did that before with the RA Layman mask. Why can't you do that again? Numbers-wise, it was very different, and that was a huge favor that Ari did as a friend for us to be able to put in that box. So Skeet, because we had some of these side, uh, set aside, uh, these were actually for, we had Phoenix Fan Fest, which is our, uh, our, our winter con, if you will, our fall con, I guess now. Uh, and so we had some of these signed, and we were able to just fit a, a few of these in that we wanted to be able to put into our Phoenix Fan Fest mask, uh, our Fan Fest box, so for the con box. There were some of them that got left over, and so what I did is I just took some of the ones that were left over, and I just randomly threw them in boxes because I thought, that's fun. It's fun to do, it's fun to go along, there's the different boxes being packed, and I just grabbed the ones that I, that I, that I had. We have a few, uh, obviously this one, there's a couple more I think that are floating around the office, but the rest of it we just threw in the boxes, and some people did get them. So it was, it was a last minute decision by me to just throw them in and surprise some people. We couldn't do it for everybody or else we would have done it for everybody because we love doing that kind of stuff. And that's why also it didn't make it in the booklet. So some of you did get a Skeet Ulrich sign mask, uh, a ghost face mask, which is really cool. All right guys, and that is the watching theme. Thank you guys so much again for all the support. We we're really excited to be able to get this out to you guys. Just incredible having Linda and Skeet in the box. Uh, John, Scott, it's just, it just been really, really great. So I want to say thank you and make sure that you check out Adult Cartoons that is live right now at thebandbox.com. Until next time, keep collecting.